Hello, my dear student. So today we will do a first experiment. Aim of this experiment is to dissect the given flower and display different floral walls. Okay. And for this experiment, we will take flower Hibiscus rosa sinensis, commonly called as China rose. I think everybody has seen this flower. This is Hibiscus rosa sinensis. Okay. Now, little bit information about the classification. This hibiscus belongs to kingdom plantae, class Magnolopsida, order Malvales, family Malvaceae, genus Hibiscus, species Rosa sinensis. Okay. Now I will show how to dissect the flower and display different floral walls on A4 size paper. Now I will show. How to do the dissection of the flower and display different rows. Now, for that, first of all, on A4 size paper, you have to write like this. Epicalyx, calyx, corolla, monoadelphus stamen, anthers, pentacarpillary syncarpus gynoecium and TS of ovary. Okay. Now, this is hibiscus flower. I think everybody know this. Fine. Now, one by one, we will remove each and every part of the flower. And we will display on this paper. Now, as this flower is having the stalk, so this flower is called pedicillate flower. Fine. Now, here you can see small green color structure. This is called epicalyx. 5 to 7 epicalyx are present in this hibiscus flower. So first we will remove these epicalyx with the help of scissor or forcep. And we will keep all these epicalyx where we have written on this paper. Fine. Now, next part. After this epicalyx, this green color, this one is called calyx. Or it is also called as sepals. Now, how we will remove this sepal? With the help of sharp blade, first we will make one cut. Then slowly with the help of your thumb and index finger you will remove these calyx from the flower. And here you can see there are five calyx, five sepals. They are green in color and they are gamosepalous. Gamosepalous means they are fused. You will keep here where you have written calyx. Now the next part is corolla. Fine. Corolla is also called as petals. They are five in number. One, two, three, four, five. They are polypetalous. Means they are free. You can see. So they are polypetalous. And estivation is twisted. How they are arranged. So that is the twisted estivation. Now we will remove one by one all the petals. And this we have to do very carefully so that other parts of the flower will not get damaged. See, in this way, you will keep all five petals where you have written corolla. Corolla is nothing but the petals, okay? So, twisted estivation, they are polypetalous. 
Now we have only the center part. Okay. Yeah, you can see. So first we will remove here androsium or the stamen. Here stamens are numerous and they are monoadelphous. See I have written here monoadelphous stamen. Monoadelphous means major part of the filament is fused together to form a single staminal tube. Fine? So this is monoadelphous. And here many anthers are present. Yellow color structure you can see. Those are the anthers. They are dorsifixed. Fine. Monothecus and kidney shaped. Fine. So we will remove first of all anthers. And we will keep here with the help of the scissor. You can remove few anthers. And you can keep on this page where you have written anthers. Fine. In this way. Now, staminal tube we will separate. How we will separate staminal tube? First of all, we, with the help of needle, we will make one slit here. Okay? On this tube. And from top to bottom, we will take it like this. We will separate this. Fine? And from the lower side also, we will mark one cut and we will start separating from the center part. See here you can see, slowly you have to do this one. Be careful and then you can remove the staminal tube. Now after making this slit, you can easily remove this staminal tube from the flower. Just see. Now we will keep it here. Monoadelphus stamen. Now I have only the female part that is gynosium. Okay. Lower you can see this is ovary, this is style and top is the stigma. And stigma here you can see, just wait I will show, see you can count here 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Here pentacarpillary syncarpus, this gynosium. Syncarpus means carpals are fused. Ovary is superior, here you can see. Style is long. Stigma is pentafit. Here you can count. Just see at the tip. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Fine. So stigma is pentafit and capitate. So here I will put this one. Pentacarpillary syncarpus gynosium. And this way you have to display. So this one is a monoadelphus stamen. Staminal tube. And here, this is pentacarpillary syncarpus gynosium. Now, this TS of ovary. When we will take the section of this ovary with the help of the sharp blade and observe under dissecting microscope, we will see that ovary is pentalocular. You can see here five chambers. One, two, three, four, five. Fine? With exile placentation. So this is all about the dissection and display different floral parts. In exam also you have to do like this.